What is going on, peoples? A little, little on duty, a little fuel action here. Up here at the Loves. Uh huh. That's what we do. Done a little fuel action. Since I came in, it's like a city. We're at Old Loves in uh, sure where at. Columbia, Tennessee. So what I'll do is go to my Loves app. Um, if it works, sometimes it does, and you know sometimes it does not work. But uh, I'm going to pay. And I'm going to look over here. I'm on pump 21. Let me verify that. Yes, I am on pump 21. So I'll select the pump 21. So that's the thing about loves that you got to make sure you put the right pump number in there where it starts somewhere else. So we're going to get some diesel and death. All right, select those two. It's going to ask me my truck number. We got 191039. And it's going to ask me for. Uh, trip number as well. So driver ID. Alright. That's going to ask my odometer. What's my? 197682. Almost 200,000 on the old Whiskey Peak. Alright, we got 748. 0867. Then we got trailer number so six. No additional products. I did not need a receipt. Begin fueling. So as you see, it's going to say begin fueling. Pump is arming right now please don't close the app come on this is the thing about these they take a minute they do take a minute pump 21 is ready so now Let's go out here and get it pumped. Alright, let me adjust this camera lens here. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see. take care of these uh these bunk bags. So bear with me. Thank 
finish finish fueling this bad boy up. Here comes the most frustrating thing because this death sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. about this diff is that when it kicks off it splatters right on there. So you gotta kind of stand at an angle. Yeah, that's what I thought. Move. Nobody's behind me, but let's move forward up here and uh, get on down the road. But let's talk about the the new changes in the HOS, the hours of service. So. I think it's a huge, huge plus for drivers because let's say I've been off for 12 minutes. I've been on duty fueling up for 12 minutes. And I have to log that time as, as far as for, for when I'm fueling. So what the new uh, hours of service change is is that I can do my 30 minute break. So now really I can take, you know, 15 to 18 more minutes and go ahead and complete my full 30 minute break. But before what happened is I just log off duty because I'm barely going there to use the bathroom. So what would happen is, is my off duty time would start right now. So even though I spent 13 minutes or 12 minutes fueling up, I would have to do another 30 minutes uh, as far as to take my 30 minute break when I've been stopped the whole time. So it's a huge plus in my opinion. Uh, kudos to that change and we'll be back with you shortly. guys so we over here in Carson City Alabama
a pretty big uh, Petro in here. Those goodies. Lots of goodies. I got Heather a flamingo thing here last time. cool neon signs back here goodies here. of chrome. There's what I need on my truck. Some new mine's all rusted out. Freaking Oakley and everything. Simply Southern. You don't see many uh, truck stops have this kind of gear. Shit like a man, smell like a legend. Yeah. Little gang thing back there. We got a little bit of everything in here. A little bit of everything. I thought those right there are pretty cool. I 
189 and 139. Last time I was here, I got a pizza over at Papa John's. I had the shits for two days. So I have to wonder what I said if I six on the top. Oh yeah. And look great about yourself. That is a great question. I think I'll do a uh Uh, you have waffle cones? Yeah. Um, I'll just take a, uh, two scoops of uh, berry, berry, strawberry. A, a bow is fine. Yeah. Can I try this cotton candy? No samples. No okay. that. I tell you what, make it one very berry strawberry scoop and a um, and a uh, let's do a a chocolate. Hey, don't you guys be judging now? Don't be judging. Judging, not be judging me. Yep, I'm gonna sit here. I'm going to get this chocolate all over me. Here is pretty bad. The uh, the um, northbound exit 299 off of 65 south, actually be 65 north on the north side. But uh, look, like there was a, a trucker pulled over with a, uh, a medical team there, so that's kind of scary. scary but wish him the best wish him the best well damn it may be a female I don't know whomever but I stopped at this place last time I was down here in Alabama Exit 299 off of uh, 65. It looks like I'm about two hours and 15 minutes away from my delivery tomorrow. I don't deliver until 9.30 in the morning. But uh, they have overnight parking there. So a good thing. That is a good thing. But uh, 
just wanted to come on here. Uh, I'm going to start uh, cranking out some videos. So, I got a couple rants I'm going to do. Um, had a fun day yesterday. I got, uh, I was watching, uh, after commenting on driver lineup, Eric's post um, about him uh, getting uh, drug tested. And I was telling him I, I did think like five times at Prime in the year and a half I was there. And yesterday I got popped here as far as uh, drug tested. But that's going to be a video all in by itself because it's a it's a pretty shitty subject. Let's just say that. <laughs> yeah. Last time I came in there, I didn't realize this Baskin Robbins was kind of in the, in the corner, and they had some. Uh, those pint sizes that, that you could, you know, buy for the pints and they had some cakes. So I thought that's what all it was, but nope. Actually, I have where you can get a couple scoops. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So I'm going to Montgomery, Alabama. picking up in Montgomery after I deliver, then I'll be delivering that back to, uh, uh, it goes back to Indianapolis. So, the hot wifey leaves out on Saturday. She's uh, flying down to Texas to be with our daughter. It's her birthday. Next weekend, next week, that's what it is. 18th is what it is. Went through it. 15th. So, Monday. All right, 16th tomorrow, so Sunday. So, should be the big. What will she be? She will be big 23. Twenty-three years old. So, super proud of her and Zach, her husband. They got married in June. They moved down to Texas, and uh, both got good jobs down there now. And uh, just waiting for this whole COVID thing to kind of figure out about school so but yeah that's what I'm doing I'm just gonna sit here I'm gonna finish rest this right here then we're gonna get on down the road I'll catch you in a little bit